Let's shift gears and head over to the NFL Power Rankings. Got to update these before the games of Week 13 kick off tonight with the Thursday Night Football game. Cowboys at the Saints here. But um, this is what we're doing, folks. Um, we are blowing up the top 10 here, folks. Frauds have been exposed. Uh, teams that we kind of... Uh, a little disrespected, a tad bit of disrespect by not placing them higher in the power rankings, really have been stepping up the last week or two, so we are officially blowing up our top 10, we are getting rid of everything right here and starting fresh, folks, a clean blank slate here in our power rankings, so let's start at number 10, work our way up to number 1, and see what our new blown up power rankings are heading into tonight's action, heading into week 13 and uh, let's get the frauds out of here because we're starting to see the frauds truly be frauds getting exposed as they progress towards the better teams as they progress uh, you know throughout the season and we're still seeing the same old same old things that we've been seeing all season long so here we go fresh clean slate here new number 10 team in the NFL we're giving it to the Rams borderline frauds folks borderline frauds we're going to give them one last chance here that's where we're, that's why we're putting them at number 10. Got to clean it up offensively. I mean, what the hell is going on here? Can we start utilizing the running game a little bit more? Stop relying on Matthew Stafford so much. I know you've got great quarterbacks. There's great quarterbacks in this league, but these coaches are starting to get away from the running game. Stop getting away from the running game. I know it's kind of like older school football. We're in this new age where everything benefits the receivers and the passers. I get it, but you still need to establish the run. Look at the Bills. They're not establishing the run, and are we afraid of the Bills? No. Josh Allen can't carry uh, the squad throwing the ball 45 plus times a game. That's not Josh Allen. And now we're starting to see the same thing with the Rams. Trying to get it all on Matthew Stafford. And newsflash, Matthew Stafford has never won anything meaningful in his entire career with the Detroit Lions. He's never been in the position where he has to be absolutely fantastic an entire game, let alone an entire season, because they're kind of billed as one of the best teams in the league here. So re-establish the run, Rams. Sean McVay, you're a smart guy. Establish the run in a smart way to help out Matthew Stafford and get going. Obviously, there's so much pressure on this Rams team to perform well with the OBJ acquisition and all that. Rams, you get one more chance here. We do think you're frauds, but we're going to give you one more opportunity here in the top 10. We're going to leave them at 10. Got to, got to, definitely got to win this game this week. And you're facing the Jags, so that should be an easy one. Rams at 10. Alrighty, are y'all ready for the respect? I told you at the beginning of the show, I am unapologetic on everything that we're going to say here in the top 10. You understand me? I don't care if you're going to clown me in the comment section or on social media. I don't care, folks. Zero caring over here. Because you know what? I'm putting the Dolphins at number 9, and you're a little bit lucky I don't put them a little bit higher, folks. Absolutely disrespect. Two was so gosh damn good. So gosh damn great. So da gosh dang amazing. So Oh, gosh damn fantastic yes sir two is getting it done these last two weeks 80 percent completion percentage Mwah. I mean, we are just watching this man and just taking it all in. And, man, oh, man, he's even getting recognized in the national media, which we thought would never happen. People are swallowing their tongue. People are kind of going back on their old takes to be like, yeah, two is okay. But when people say two is okay, they really mean two is great because they've been clowning them so much that they can't make that kind of true 180 jump from trash to great. So they just call them good. <laughs> so two is great. Uh, um, Jalen Waddle's getting it done. Philip Lindsay, folks. Philip Lindsay, newly acquired here a couple of days ago before the game on Sunday against the Panthers. And what does he do? A great block, a couple of runs here for 40, a light 40 piece, something light out here. This defense is finally coming along here in Miami. Thank goodness, picking up where they laughed off, la left off last season. Unfortunately, it took them about 12 weeks to truly get going. But better late than never. They're making a late, late, late. Eighth playoff push. We'll see if they're able to do so. Dolphins at nine. Give them some respect. And yes, I put the Dolphins over the Rams. Once again, unapologetic over here. Matthew Stafford, get it done. I take two over Matthew Stafford. Once again, unapologetic. Don't care. Don't care. 
All righty, here we go. New number eight team, and I don't even I don't even know if I want to put this team on number eight now. Now that we're going truly unapologetic, should I just find some other team out here? Let me quickly see. Is there any team before I expose this team? Let me see if there's a team I'm leaving off here in the top ten. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we can put this team right here. One last look. One last look. Alrighty, we're gonna put this team here. I don't want to put this team here, but uh, we'll give them a little respect here uh, We're gonna put the Bills here at number eight and really it's just because of their defense very very good Tredavious White being out for a little bit Maybe they start to flounder a big 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 matchup this week against the Patriots Woof. Wow, good luck on that one. Bill Belichick's back. This Patriots defense is back. Matthew Judon has been obliterating quarterbacks. Bills, you better be ready. So we're going to put you at number eight. Sink or swim, you win. You can stay in the top ten. You lose. We're definitely kicking you out. So, Bills, one last chance here in the top ten. The offense has to get it figured out, folks. Establish the run. Can we start establishing the run, please? The Eagles, all they do is run. They barely pass. They let Jalen Hurts run more than he passes for the most part and they're pretty gosh dang good we're still believing in the eagles they're not in the top 10 spoiler alert um very very close i'd put them at number 11 or 12 so they're very very close knocking on the door here trying to get in the top 10 uh, but can we establish the mother loving run please bills establish the run josh allen is not a quarterback that can throw the ball 45 times a game and win and single-handedly carry you maybe last season josh allen but this is a new year new josh allen and we don't like this new josh allen he's okay but nothing great Right. Nothing like wow, wow. Last season was wow, Josh Allen. This is not wow, Josh Allen. This is wow for a different reason. Like, wow, you're not as good as you were. Damn, wow, what happened? Wow, wow. Uh, so Bills at number eight, sink or swim this week. We'll still we'll see if they're still in the top ten come next Tuesday. Alrighty, new number seven team here, and uh, this is a great, uh, this is great, uh, we're putting the Bengals up here at number seven, man, oh man, that offense, folks, when they are on, they are on that offense, Joe Mixon, a great runner, we get to Joe Burrow, that's having a hell of a year, number two out here, once again, the league is in great hands, we got the accident quarterbacks of Drew Brees and Big Ben, Tom Brady, maybe, maybe, um, in this new wave of uh, Justin and Herbert and Tua and Joe Burrow. Man, oh man, that draft class from last season is truly getting it done. I mean, that draft class, maybe we're going to be talking about this draft class. Let's just put it like that. That 2020 quarterback draft class. Man, oh man, what, how great. Uh, this Bengals defense getting it done as well, forcing the turnovers, not letting you put up any points. And when they go, they just go and go and go, and they continue to go. They get up big in the first quarter, first half. They don't care. They keep the pedal on the metal, and that's exactly what I love about this Bengals team. You don't want to be facing this team. This defense is getting better, better, better every single week. And, sh you know, talk about these kind of new age quarterbacks coming in. Let's talk about these new age coaches truly getting it done right off the rip I don't think we've seen this many coaches young coaches step up into a role that doesn't have the best team the Chargers the Bengals getting new coaches over the last two seasons here and immediately making a huge great impact Zach Taylor the head coach for this Bengals team I mean give this man so much credit for turning around this Bengals team instantly implementing Joe Burrow and making him you know a freaking great quarterback um you know the Jamar Chase wide receiver pickup absolutely playing out well continuing to rock in the running game of Joe Mixon and shoring up the defense folks this Bengals team is the real deal and we've got them at number seven Alrighty, new number six team here, and I was a little, uh, what did I make over uh, about the overall performance on Monday's game? I know we didn't break it down because we couldn't get to the, couldn't get to the show on Tuesday, unfortunate here, uh, but the Ravens, we're going to put them at number six here, folks. And I was trying to see, you know, well, yeah, they barely won and all the turnovers. But, I mean, if you have four interceptions and you still win the game, I mean, that truly speaks volumes, folks. That's Ravens defense. Let the uh, the Browns do absolutely nothing that entire game. Uh, just, you know, winning the game here. Lamar Jackson not looking good at all, but still able to pull out a win because you can rely on your defense. Just last season, Tom Brady, three interceptions in the NFC Championship game and still wins the game. 
game. It truly speaks to a great team where you can have literally like three or four turnovers and still win the game. That just speaks to the entire team. Everybody buying in, nobody giving up, the defense being like, you know what, we're just going to keep going out there and, you know, giving you opportunities. If you squander those opportunities, well, it sucks, but we're going to keep going out there. We're not going to give up like we see some of these other defenses give up when the offense starts to struggle a little bit. So, Ravens, Lamar Jackson, he always keeps you in the game. Uh, what is the other team that we talk about that always keeps you in the game? Um, you, you, they can be down big. They can be down bad. The Bucks do it, you know, down against the Colts. They stayed with it, folks. So, it just speaks volumes to the Ravens. Four interceptions by Lamar Jackson in nobody's phase. So, it kind of speaks great to me. I'm going to keep the Ravens here at number six. Alrighty, new number five team. Five, four, three, two, one. That is all of them. Here we go. I mean, I'm just making sure I've got everything good here. All right, here we go. Five team. We're going to drop the Cowboys down a little bit. Cowboys and the Cardinals have been fighting for number one and number two for the last like four weeks here. But I mean, this Cowboys offense, they, they got to pick it up a little bit. And I know they haven't had CeeDee Lamb and Amari Cooper over the last couple of weeks. See, we could get it. This defense for the Cowboys, a little flounder job last week as well. No Coach McCarthy this week, which is probably going to happen help the Cowboys. Everybody talks about how McCarthy is such a bad coach and can't game manage, and I don't disagree with any of that. Uh, it's going to be a huge game tonight. Hopefully, they get back on track here, but uh, we're still believing in this Cowboys team. They have all the pieces, hitting a little bit of a rough patch here. Hopefully, they can get back on track, or we'll have to keep dropping them down, and that's definitely going to hurt us. We love that walk of fame defense, folks. Cowboys at five. Hopefully, when everybody's good receiver-wise, they're back to uh, exploding down the field. Alrighty, number four team, we're going to the New England Patriots. Man, oh man, Bill Belichick is back, folks. We don't need to tell you that. We all know that. Bill Belichick's back. The defense is back. And Mac Jones is playing amazing, phenomenal, game-managing quarterback out here as a rookie. They've got no great pieces, and they're still working it. Josh McDaniels is the best quarterback in NFL history, folks. You've heard me. It's Josh McDaniels. It's not Tom Brady. Tom Brady deserves zero credit. You heard me? Unapologetic. Tom Brady deserves zero credit for any success of the New England Patriots. It's all Josh McDaniels. Patriots at number four. Alrighty, new number three team here. We're going to go the Bucks. Tom Brady does, doesn't deserve any credit for this Bucks success either. The defense has been getting it done uh, recently for this Bucks team. <clears throat> down against the Colts, no problem. Stayed to it, forced the turnovers, and got the win in the second half. Leonard Fournette, when this man is on, this man is on. And this is exactly what the Bucks did last season. Ran Leonard Fournette. In the playoffs, in the Super Bowl, and what happens? Oh, the Bucks won the Super Bowl last year. So, Leonard Fournette is finally just starting to get going this season in the run game. And once that happens, it's lights out because we already know Tom Brady can do it all, folks. And once you have the running game with Tom Brady, good luck, good luck, especially uh, hopefully Antonio Brown can come back a little bit soon here. This Bucks team has been doing decent in the offensive game without Antonio Brown as well. So, Bucks at three, they've got it all going on. Alrighty, new number two team here, and this is us kind of saying we're sorry a little bit. We've disrespected this team by keeping them low on the power rankings. I don't think they've cracked the top five all season, and that is on us, and we truly apologize. So hopefully you could take this token as our sincerest apology. We've got the Packers at number two out here, folks. Man, oh man, Aaron Rodgers is a bad man. He makes the throws every time he needs to. <clears throat> Um, this Packers defense truly getting it done as well, forcing all the turnovers, making Matthew Stafford question where he throws the ball to against the Rams last week. And, you know, once again, it was like 36 to 17 game over at that point. I don't care about the final score of one possession. That's not what that game was. So this Packers offense, A.J. Dillon's absolutely fantastic, getting it done with Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones is back, but they're still rocking with A.J. Dillon because why not? They're both absolutely phenomenal. This is a scrappy team. They don't have like a blowout signature win but they win and that's the most important thing respect to the Packers they're at number two and then the number one team we're still keeping the Cardinals here folks we, uh, went two and one 
with Colt McCoy. Hopefully, Kyler Murray's back this week. He should. They're coming off the bye, hopefully. Let me double check this. Um, I, I'm almost certain he's playing this week. I mean, if Kyler Murray's taking another week off, like, come on. I don't care. Get out there. I don't care if you're injured. Just go out there and play. Uh, he is questionable with the ankle. Man, oh, man. But I guess we can still trust Colt McCoy. No, he was looking real good. Had one bad game, game number two. Got it done, game number three. Now off, off the bye here. DeAndre Hopkins still questionable as well, and they were still winning without him as well. This Cardinals defense is great. Running back by committee, James Connors trying to get it done um, by himself because the number two running back, um, Chase Edmonds, correct? They still got Chase Edmonds, James Conner. Um, Chase Edmonds a little banged up the last couple of weeks, so he hasn't been able to go. James Conner gets it done himself. Colt McCoy gets it done. Cliff Kingsbury, coach of the year conversation. Got to make him in the conversation at least. Cardinals, they'll keep the number one spot. Can't advance the Packers quite yet over the Cardinals. Not going to move the Cardinals back off of a bye, especially coming out and winning with Colt McCoy in their last outing. Alrighty, folks, so that is our new top 10 heading into week 13. Blew it all up, started from scratch, and I'm loving what we're getting here. So here we go. One last time to recap. Rams at number 10, and you're on thin ice. You better get the win this week. Dolphins at number 9. You can do no wrong. You can lose for the rest of the season, and I will still keep you in the top 10. Bills at number 8. Bengals at 7. Ravens at 6. Cowboys at 5. Patriots at 4. Bucks at 3. Packers at 2. And the Cardinals still the best team in the mother-loving league, folks.